will stand if you don't mind. I'm so happy to be here amongst you today. And uh, what I will try to contribute here in front of you is uh, that, that I have seen the topics which, for which we came here from Anna Maria. And then I'm also teaching homiletics, like one brother have said before here. So then I divide this topic in three, four parts. So I will try to speak in that way. This is a, a job of those who are teaching homiletics. So I start with theological education. I think that theological education is very, very important in these days and even before for the ministry and for our believers and for our churches. So I believe you agree with me that in the center of our studies and everything what we are doing with young people or students who are with us together in our classrooms, we have to stand on the standards of the Bible. So, the Bible is God's word, God's divinely inspired word, revelation given to man directly from God. That is significant for every generation, past, present, and future. As Paul says in 2 Timothy 3, all the scripture is God preached, and it is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteous, righteousness, so that the servant of God may be throughout the equipped for every good work. If we don't have any, any book on different subjects in theological education, I will say, but you will understand me, if we have the Bible, we have everything. This is God's word. And we have to stand for this. So then in Psalm uh, 119, 189, your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in heavens. So then one more Psalm, uh, 119, 160. All your words are true. Every patriarch, every prophet, Christ and apostles, the first church in the first century, stand for this. They believe that the word of God is essential for their life and for the ministry. So the Reformation and Reformers have been led by this truth also. So you may know for five solas, sola scriptura, solus Christus, sola gratia, sola fide, sola del gloria. They've been ready, not only Martin Luther, but especially for him and all others. They have said, Martin Luther have said, I cannot, I cannot do nothing differently. This is my way of living and life. So then let us go on the second topics. Balkan Theological Seminary was found 31st of October 2013. That was a day of reformation. And we have celebrated uh, in a recent time 500 years of reformation. So those who attend to our seminary can we can offer to them theological and academical knowledge with a big indication on a practice, how to use 
theology and knowledge from the Bible in the practice. So our seminary is mission mind seminary. During our studies, we stress how it is important mission is. Then when the students apply to our seminary, we also stress how it is important personal, individual, that they have to have call from the Lord to be in the ministry. Not only to be a pastor, even to be a teachers, to be church leaders, to be also men who will lead children or young people. I'm thinking on a personal in, uh, and individual call from the Lord. So then, we will not pr have problem if they will go and study somewhere abroad or here. If they have this desire in their heart, they will come and work for the Lord in their society, in their home, in their cities. During four years of studying, we have many consultations with the students. And we believe that will help to them very much to clarify or to be for sure that they are called from the Lord. And also, God willing, they will be take a ministry after finishing four years of study and to be faithful servants of the Lord. This is our task. This is what we are doing. We are doing for that reason and for that goal. Our virtue is not from men, but from God, says Paul. And then he goes on to say, I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. Jesus said in John 15, 16, You did not choose me, but I chose you. Do we believe that the students who are applying in our theological centers and education they have to have personal call from the Lord for the ministry? I strongly believe, believe. And that was present in the Old Testament. You can look at Moses. That was present also in New Testament as Jesus called the disciples. That was present in Paul's life. Because God has said, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. Acts 9.15 This man is my chosen instrument. I believe also that all of us who are leaders of theological education and institutions and I believe all who are doing teaching program, education and all of the students have to have this understanding how to be effective in the ministry by the call of the Lord. Paul was so trained, so educated man. He was great missionary, teacher, planter of the churches, great traveler, friend of sinners, <coughs> fireful servant, you understand this? Counselor and willing to die for Christ and for the people to whom he served. You can find this in the Bible. So then we are coming on the third point, church and mission. This kind of profile people we need today on the Balkans context. The people who are ready and who are willing to understand God's revelation, who are theologically and academically educated. Doctrinally, they have to be precise and very clear in their preaching and their teaching. Practical specialists, you understand this, I believe, when I'm saying this in English, who will, in this time of society, and changes every day, be able to respond to the task of mission in the right way. Practical advice for the work in the church and ministry. 
If I'm on time, so you are out of time. No. Out of time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but you may contribute a bit later. Okay. I think this is an important topic on church admission. Okay. So I okay. Thank you so much. So.